Hello everybody, and what on earth is a log profile? C-log, S-log, V-log, you have probably heard of them before. Now these are log profiles, but what do they actually do apart from making your image look really flat? Now in fact, this video was shot using C-log on the Canon C100 Mark II, so if I turn off my color correction, this is what raw C-log looks like. Now log is not raw, it's simply a picture profile baked into the image. And log is actually short for logarithmic, and despite me being Asian, I am actually horrible at logarithms. Now you'll usually find log profiles in higher-end prosumer cameras such as the Sony A7s and the Canon C100s, and sometimes camera makers are scumbags and they make you pay extra for the log profile. Now the reason behind the profile being called logarithmic is simply because it appends a logarithmic exposure curve to your image, very much like the curves function in Photoshop. And that's pretty much all it is, it applies an exposure curve to your image. Then you might ask, if it just does that, why can't I just import the footage after I've shot it into After Effects and apply the exposure curve there? Now the results will be vastly different because it matters very much at what point in the process do you apply this log curve. When you shoot using log, the curve is applied between sensor output and compression. So the curve is being appended to the raw signal that's being output from your camera sensor just before the file is being compressed and saved. And what it does is it enhances the dynamic range of your camera sensor and what this curve is doing to your image is it's taking the information and details in the shadow region regions of your image and pushing it up towards the midtones so it's more preserved and less of it is being crushed in the blacks. A log profile also doesn't push the highlights that much as you would get shooting with a normal linear picture profile to give you a more contrasty and punchier image. So in a way, log also helps you retain more highlight detail. So let's take a look at an example here. Here is a scene shot with a normal linear picture profile and here is the exact same scene shot using Canon Log. And first off, we're going to notice that the C-Log looks darker. That is just a characteristic of C-Log. You need to expose it differently. But as you can see, the C-Log retains more detail in the highlights and shadows. The shadows are pushed further up into the midtones, resulting in a flatter, greyish looking image, whereby on the linear profile, it sure looks more contrasty, but more information in the highlights and shadows are being clipped and crushed. Now due to the flat looking nature of log, you will need to apply some degree of color correction in post-production, but then again, that is usually one of the reasons you chose to shot with log in the first place, because you plan to apply color correction and color grading in post-production. That extra latitude gives you so much more room to get the look that you are going for in the color grading process. So that was pretty much it about log profiles. It was actually a rather generic overview on log profiles. If you're interested to learn in more detail about log profiles, there is a very well-written article on the BNH website that talks very in-depth, very detailed about log profiles. I will leave a link in the description below, so check it out if you're interested. So that's pretty much it for today, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comment section as well what would you like to see in further upcoming videos. I do love to hear back from you guys. So that's it for today, everybody. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.